Eugenio Aleman is a senior economist at Wells Fargo. He says that the national economy is doing very well. The economy is doing overall very well. I mean, last year was the best year in job creation since, since 1999. Uh, we have created uh, more than 10 million jobs since the end of the Great Recession. Uh, it has been the longest period in history in the U.S. of job creation, consecutive month. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a good place to be. Jim Peach, an economics professor at New Mexico State University, says that New Mexico is still slowly recovering from the recession. He says that the drop in oil prices could hurt the New Mexico economy because oil and gas accounts for about 20 to 30 percent of the state budget. So we're in for a tough time on state expenditures. And how does that matter? Well, it matters right here in Las Cruces. Uh, university employment, school district employment, uh, our biggest employers are public sector uh, employers. Although lower oil prices may not be good for New Mexico, Aleman says that they are good for the U.S. economy overall. From the producer side, it is bad, but from the consumer side, it's very good. And we know that the U.S. economy and the rest of the world economy needs more demand. So our expectation is that this drop in oil prices is going to uh, get some more demand into the system. Peach says that in order for the state to fully recover, they need to be less reliant on public sector jobs by growing jobs from within the state and bringing companies in. One of the things that we need to do in New Mexico is to make the state more attractive for firms. And what firms look for are a well-trained and highly educated workforce. They look for broadband access. We are the least wired state in the nation. We need, we need to invest heavily in broadband. We have tremendous potential in the tourist industry, but we need to spend money on our state parks and our roadside rest areas and all kinds of other things. Some issues the U.S. economy is still dealing with are long-term unemployment, international risks such as ISIS, and the possibility of rising interest rates. For KRWG, I'm Samantha Sonner.